Yeah. Wow, there's a there's a motley crew if I ever saw one. Can you hear us? Uh, somebody say something because I can barely. Can, can you hear us? Yeah, it's just really echoey. It's almost like you have to get closer to the laptop or wherever you're sitting. Or wherever the laptop is. You look well today. What about now? That sounds good, whoever that whoever that was. Yeah, you might just get up closer. Okay. Uh, what did I do? What did I do? Well, I think it's on our desktop, the microphone. Let me see. Yeah, that's fine. If you all want to move up there close to it, that's that'd be awesome. Oh. Mm -hmm. Lost video. I lost video. Or I lost your camera. That's the camera. Lost camera. <laughs> this thing. June first. Let me try this. Can you hear us now? I can hear you, but I can't see you. Oh, okay. We're computer, computer leader. There it is. Okay. Yeah, you might have to see. There we go. That's yeah. That way we can see what you look like. Well, yeah, we see you. Okay. <laughs> I'm sitting right here. All right, I need to jot down here who is in the room there so I can get your names right if this my phone would work. Okay, I'm pretty sure. All right, um, start from there, yes. <laughs> uh, well, you know me, I'm Jimmy Christie. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and then middle. Ryan Jeffcoat, R Y A N J E F F C O A T. Okay. All right. Uh, my name is Nathan Reed. Oh, good old Nathan. You betcha. Okay. All right. So now I know Jimmy, you're you're putting your you've organized the the golf tournament. Ryan, are you are you helping with it or? I am. I'm. I'm actually the financial. Um, advisor here on the, on the committee. Okay, and then Nathan, I know um, since this benefits um, wounded veterans, are we, are you, I'm going to, I was going to or have you talk about that part of it. Uh, yes, sir. I was a uh, last year's uh, awardee of their uh, charity uh, with the local wounded warriors. Uh, okay. Last year that they held last, you know, the, the benefit they held last year. And okay. Came, okay. Came, you know, the MD Anderson and everything like that. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we can talk. We can talk a little bit about that. So, all right. So, Jimmy, I want to start with you first, and 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 talk about this tournament. You've had it for um, a number of years. Um, why do you Why do you do this every year? Well, to me, it's a healer. Okay, being a veteran, and you know, I know how it is coming home. And uh, but right now, here in the United States, especially in our in this area, there's so many veterans right now who need help and you know the va does so much no disrespect there but you know what if, let's say for example a family you know uh, a husband wife with kids of course you know the price of stuff today you know there's hey there's more left end of the month than there is money you know what i mean so but anyway the reason i do this is because my main man ryan here this got started years ago and uh, we talked about doing a, a golf tournament for a local wounded veteran in fact, my wife had the idea. Can you believe that? But anyway, but uh, that's how this all got started. And this is our 12th year, actually, to do it for local veterans. And we have, uh, we've helped 14 different veterans with, and with, with, with donations. In fact, one year, we gave one veteran $20,000. Now, you tell me that's not a life changer. You know what I mean? So, but... Uh, 
Why do I do it? I, it's a, I just love it. I just love seeing the response. And you know what I mean? That's it. It's nothing about me, but I just love doing this. And I got some good help here with Ryan. We couldn't do this without him. Hear me? And, and I, yeah, I was going to ask Ryan, you know, this is, who is this, who can come out and play in this and how do you get signed up for it? Okay. Well, we're actually full already for the first tournament. We have two tournaments we throw each year, one here and then one in Dyer, one in Ben Gary and one in Dyer. And uh, this first tournament's already full. So that's how it's caught on like wildfire. So we just have a lot of fun out there. And we have a lot of veterans that come to it and a lot of families that we help. So it's a bit like he was saying, this is my therapy. This is from being overseas. This is what we do to give back. Nathan, talk about the, the meaning of this tournament for you. I know, um, like they've been talking about this, this really is, this really is a very special way of, of, of helping local wounded veterans. How is, how does it make you feel to be a part of something like this? Was it me? No, for, no, for Nathan. Nathan. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, yeah, it was great. I mean, uh, it's pay forward type situation. I mean, uh, last year we were the receivers of it. And uh, like I said, it changed everything. Uh, and it was that desperate need when we needed had to. Uh, we had some really bad circumstances happen. And, uh, you know, I was diagnosed with cancer last year. And uh, MD Anderson, all the way down to Houston, is not cheap, you know, in order to save your life. And these guys really paid it, paid it and paid it forward. And then uh, we're trying to get pay it forward in advance back. I mean, because this is definitely a gift that keeps on giving. So you were helped by this last year then? Say again? Were you helped by this last year? Oh, yes. I was a, I was awardee of it last year. Uh, you know, I just had open stomach surgery going through uh, and uh, out there in Little Rock and uh, in pretty bad shape. You know, I was diagnosed with stage four cancer and, uh, you know, part of this new pack that, you know, stuff that a lot of these soldiers come down with now. And uh, these guys, I mean, didn't hesitate to jump it on the ball. Uh, the VSO uh, over in Crawford County, I mean, really slammed up. It got got these guys in touch with me and uh, man hit a home run and actually hole in one. You know, we're coming up on with this new uh, benefit that we're doing this year. It's great, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Jimmy, when you got the players out there, um, how many of them? really don't have an idea about what it takes to take care of a wounded veteran. And, and I know they want to come out and play golf, but at the same time, are you, are you letting them know what you all do every day? Yes. Yes, we do. Okay. We, we normally have well, somebody like uh, Nathan here. We normally have uh, recipients come back to the event. You know what I mean? and tell their story to the crowd. You know what I mean? That makes it really neat. But I got to say something very unusual. Uh, our golf tournament is not just a golf tournament. And I've asked you to come to play it several times, but you're so busy, whatever. <laughs> anyway, but uh, in fact, you're still invited this year. We'll just okay. right here, all right? <laughs> but anyway, but what we do, we have a special event. We have, uh, well, you know about it. I told you years ago, we make these posters for deceased veterans. Mm -hmm. We do that, and uh, we honor Purple Heart recipients. But what you, what's really unique is the uh, idea of uh, doing this for the deceased veteran. And we have the gun salute, and we have taps, and you know, so that makes it really, really, you know, meaningful to everybody. So you know, anybody who has a deceased veteran in their family, they can they can come on board and be a part of this. They want to. So this really is more than just a golf tournament. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. In fact, uh, Darren, two years ago, we had a Purple Heart, excuse me, a Medal of Honor recipient here. You know, he came. Bob Patterson is his name, Robert Patterson. We had him here two years ago. Great event. But anyway, let Ryan tell you about it, all right? Well, you know, that was, uh, you, you mentioned the, the, the one is full now. You, you have another one. Is that one already getting full, or can you still sign up for that? We can still, you can still sign up for that. That's at the River Valley Golf Course in, in Dyer, little 18 hole course there. We still, we're just, we're just right now taking, you know, applicants for that. That's on the 22nd of, of June. Okay. 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 And, and Ryan, that's, I mean, it's, it's, it almost seems like, Ryan, that, that this takes care of itself once you put the word out 
it doesn't take much to get the golfers to want to be a part of it. Not, not the golfers, but it is a lot of work behind the scenes. And we have not just us here, you can see, we have our committee is probably 12 to 14, and that's counting the lives, the kids come out, all of our kids and all that, and help out throughout the year. This is a, we do this throughout the year to get ready for this event. And as much as I love it and all that, June 2nd is the day I like it. We can relax. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, throughout the year, we sell hats and t shirts. Um, that's how we raise funds to, for the event, and then we get donations. And where do you get? Where can you get those? Uh, we on our website. Uh, it's local wounded veteran uh, at weebly.com. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great time out there uh, um, in June, both days actually. And I and it's it's such a special special event. Well, both of them actually. And I uh, hope you all have a great time out there. We appreciate you taking your time. Thank you, Darren. All right, I'm gonna get this. Is there any is there any pictures or anything that uh, that y'all can email me from like from years past, maybe even last year, just of, of people playing? I could yeah. use some of that to put in here. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll do that when I get off here. Get off okay, here. perfect, perfect. All right, guys, I appreciate your help. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll see you. Okay.